All right, it's been a couple weeks since we swapped back over to the gaming stuff on this channel, and I wanted to do a little check-in, see how people are thinking of what's going up so far. I mean, at least from my end, it seems like people are enjoying the gaming stuff. It's getting a good response. It's not getting as many views as the Reddit stuff that was going up before. That was kind of to be expected, but of the people who are watching, it seems like as a whole, most people are happy with the content. And that's sort of what I was hoping for. Not necessarily expecting, I didn't know if everyone would be fans of going back to the gaming stuff, but at least that seems to be the case. Even if it's getting slightly less traffic, at least I am happy with your happiness. I think that makes enough sense to go around. So planning on continuing, just, you know, doing the gaming stuff. I do actually want to see if there's a way to bring in any sort of Fortnite content. I know that there is less of an interest in Fortnite here on this channel than other channels out there that that's their, their primary thing. You know what's super interesting to me though, is that it seems like there are certain channels out there that are able to kind of hop between whatever is the in-game at that point in time, and the audience kind of goes along with it, and then there are other channels where it's like there's a particular game that most people are fans of, and it kind of sticks with that, and when other games are introduced, there's just not as much interest into it. I'm not complaining, thinking it should be one way or the other, it's just an interesting observation of mine. Although I should say, in the Battle Royale genre, I am tempted by the Call of Duty Blackout mode, because they're going into beta, I think it's today or tomorrow or sometime this week. No, it was the 14th. That's what we said in trials that we were playing earlier on. And that's it's tempting to me because obviously I got into YouTube because of Call of Duty and people have said, hey, Jordan, you don't only have six channels, you have seven channels and you are leaving one untouched. It's called Pros Don't Talk Shorts. You should you should resurge it up to the to be a Call of Duty channel with Blackout coming out. I'm like, I, I don't know if that'll be the case. I don't think I'd be posting the Blackout stuff over on that channel, but it is interesting to me. We'll see. Who knows? I'm not sure, but I might give it a try. The only thing is, it's like, it's coming out on console and I don't really ever play on console and I can't stream it either without getting another type of capture card that has no latency. So I need to look into a few things. It looks like if I wanna possibly go about doing that and playing from console. I bet you as much as I've played on PC in the last like seven, eight years and it's been all Minecraft on this channel, primarily PC games, I'm sure I'd do a lot better if I was playing with a PlayStation controller. It's just where I came from, it's my roots. I feel like the muscle memory would still be there. And obviously you'll get the folks being like, whoa, 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 PC Master Race, the skill cap's a lot higher on PC. And I get that, but it'd be like my roots with the Call of Duty on PlayStation, how we got into this whole thing to begin with. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for playing Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty World at War on my PlayStation 3 back in high school. Those are the roots. You gotta sense it. You gotta put some respect on that. Anyway, I've just been trying to think of, you know, various gaming things to do. If anyone has any suggestions, this is a good, a good place to, to share them. Feel free. Comments. Leave ideas. Things that you would like to see. Other than it's not gonna be like single player Let's Play games. If ever that's a thing, it would be like live streamed and then that would end up over on Captain Sparkles too. So we're talking about more shorter form, slightly more polished editable content, not like episodic Let's Play kind of things, other than obviously the, the Minecraft stuff. More like open-ended, just not like single player scripted story campaigns because that's never been what I do on this channel. So. Uh, that's why, I, I mean, Subnautica, I did that over on the second channel, started it on here, but that's more open-ended as well. It's less scripted, you're kind of doing your thing, and then you can proceed with the storyline whenever you want. So, those are the things that I gravitate towards a little bit more, I think, rather than just like the straight up, complete this mission, get on to the next thing. That's just where I'm at. Um, also, hey, a little update on merch. You want some sweet fire merch that I happen to be wearing right now? Spookles only. Represent.com slash Captain Sparkles. Link in the description for the next, I don't know, nine days or something. I don't know how many days we have left, but you know I had to drop it in there somewhere. Couldn't go video without plugging it. Anywho, you know what's also kind of exciting is that, you know, I was speaking about the whole six, seven channels, including PDTS earlier. We have now, on the six that are actually active, okay, we're throwing the PDTS meme out the window for just a second here. Uh, we're now over 100K on all of them. We just, like a week or so ago, hit 100K on the Jordan Reacts channel, and just yesterday, hit 100K on Fortnite Cinema. So I'm pretty sure that YouTube is just so heavily regretting ever doing the 100,000 subscriber play button at this point. And I highly doubt that I'm gonna get the option to redeem for them 
on the other channels. Although Fortnite Cinema, I hope that there's an option because then then Mama's Boy, uh, who he's like, he's like the one who makes the Fortnite Cinema machinima animation videos that go up on that channel. Like at least he can get it and have it at his house. But I'm like, at Jordan Reacts, I don't know if they're gonna give me the opportunity. They might be like, yo, I've already given you, ah, uh, well, it's three of them, because Captain Sparkles didn't get one. But they're gonna be like, nah, that's enough. Sorry, you don't get any more of these. We're like running out of resources here. You are literally depleting the earth of whatever material we're using for these. It's too much. You need to stop, okay? I think there are like 50,000 plus channels or something like that at 100,000 subscribers. YouTube did not think that was going to be a thing when they introduced that award. They're like, oh, it's just going to, you know, every now and again, we're going to get an order for one of these now. But it's like every day they get a thousand, not that many, but they probably have to make like a hundred every day. And they're like, this is, no, stop. Stop gaining subscribers, people. You need to just chill out for a second. Too much growth on our platform. Scale it back. But then they like, I, I don't know. It's the problem is once you roll something out like that, you can't take it back because then people will be upset. Wait, I grinded so hard for the view of that, having that plaque right next to my computer. You can't take that opportunity away from me. So it like puts them in a precarious position. But I wonder, I wonder, because it's only gonna keep being like more and more per day hitting that threshold. It'll be interesting to see. Sorry, YouTube. I don't mean to make your lives difficult, but you know, I do like collecting more and more of the Awards. I wonder what the most amount of 100,000 subscriber plaques is that a single person has. Not like a business. It's pro BuzzFeed probably has like 50 channels and they have like 50 of them, but some individual. Now, I'm not obviously like PewDiePie, he could go and make a video and be like, I've listed 20 channels in my description. Can you just quickly go sub to all of them? Get me 20 plaques real quick. I mean, like actually active channels that are posting content on a regular basis single person do i have a world record that's really what i'm getting at here okay i'm just gonna come out and say it. do i have a world record probably not i don't think so i think there are people out there in like gaming who have a bunch of channels where they're kind of like hands off and it's other people but they're it's their channels they probably have yeah, a bunch of them so it was wishful thinking for a second but i don't think i don't think i have a world record at all but anyway hey man so Hopefully you are happy that we're back to the gaming stuff. Although I don't know, maybe if you're watching a vlog, you're like, I only watch the vlogs. I don't really care what you're talking about with the other gaming stuff. Then I'm just like, but why do you like to hear me talk with my, just about things that you don't care about? But anyway, hey, you're, wel you're welcome to be here. I'm glad to have you. I was just trying to figure out why. Anywho, I think we'll wind it down there. Just uh, call out for any feedback you may or may not have. I'm trying to think of, you know, more, more ideas. For game stuff and again in case you're like where's the reddit stuff i really enjoyed that and you have missed my the many efforts of making it known the jordan reacts channel is where all that is going and there have been four videos a week going up on there so you're free to go and watch the reddit series as it continues over there other than the i made the decision to to keep doing the captain sparkle subreddit on this channel because the names match up. It only makes sense, you know? And it gives me an opportunity each week to plug the Jordan Reacts channel. So you gotta, gotta do that. You gotta get those organic integration plug opportunities, you know? Sweet Fire merch, other channels, all the above. That's what I that's what I do. I'm shameless about it. Okay. Well, anyway, um, yeah. That said, thank you guys for watching. There's a lot of other content over on the other channels if you missed out on anything. And if you are enjoying the Minecraft, there is a lot of other Minecraft that goes up on Captain Sparkles too, and I live stream at twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles, so might be something to look into if you've felt like you haven't had enough of the Minecraft in your life, or if you need more Minecraft in your life, you can just go watch new Kanye West music videos. That works too. And now people are gonna be mad at me. They're gonna be like, no, nah, it's Roblox, okay? Roblox characters have round heads. You got the game wrong. Yeah, whatever. People were sending me Instagram videos of clips that were edited so that they were wearing like the Minecraft diamond armor and it had revenge playing instead of the song. So, and a lot of views on Instagram too. I was like, all right, I'll t I'm glad. Meme me up. Here we go. All right. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for more video games. See you next time.